family welcome back to black burns ever after if you're new here i'm cam welcome we're happy to have you here if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a video from us so in today's video we're going to be talking about all things korean beauty as well as reviewing some new korean nail polishes from madame glam it's a part of a mother's day collection that they released and they are pastels and perfect for summer they are so cute i can't wait to tell you guys more about it so if that interests you make sure you stay tuned So let's start out first by talking about what is Korean skincare. So you may have heard of Korean skincare referred to as K-beauty. And it's just a skincare routine that includes multiple steps using gentle and effective products designed to nourish and protect the skin. It's a routine that emphasizes keeping your skin well hydrated so that you can keep that youthful and radiant glow to your skin complexion. So a typical Korean skincare routine can include anywhere between five to 12 different steps. Most people do the 10 step process, but me, because I want to do it in a more effective and cost friendly way, I've chosen to do five steps. So I'm just gonna show you guys my five steps, but here are the 10 steps if you are ever interested but me it's kind of overwhelming to look at all 10 steps and try to remember what they are i broke the routine down picked out the most important and that's what i've been doing and i've seen a significant improvement in my skin since i've been doing this so let's talk about the five steps that i currently do the first step is to cleanse in the morning you want to cleanse with a water-based cleanser i'm using the heart leaf pore deep cleansing foam and at night you want to dual cleanse with an oil-based cleanser first and i use the heart leaf pore control cleansing oil and then you want to follow that with your water-based cleanser next you want to use a toner i'm using the i'm from rice toner you can apply this with a cotton pad or pat it in with your hands Next, you want to apply any serums or essences that you have and I'm using an exfoliating serum and a dark circle under eye serum. Then you want to moisturize. I'm using the Corserex Snail Mucin Repair Cream. Be sure to put this on your face as well as your neck. Lastly, during your morning routine, you want to make sure that you are using an SPF. It's very important. And I like to use the black girl sunscreen and these are the two that I use so another tip that I like to use when I'm trying to find affordable ways to incorporate Korean skincare into my routine is to shop at stores like Marshalls TJ Maxx Ross and look for products that are made in Korea and then when I'm in the store I like to Google to see what the benefits are to the skin and if it's something that I'm looking for I will go ahead and get it so the issues that I have with my skin is um, I have textured skin in certain areas I have hyperpigmentation in some areas and I also have a combination skin where some spots like my t-zone is oily but the outer parts of my face is more drier so i wanted to find serums and essences that would help with that so you can buy the, your products from there they're very affordable i don't i think the highest thing i bought so far was like 7.99 so when you go into those stores head over to the beauty section and see what you can find and don't be afraid to stay over there and google and see what the products do for you because you never know you might look up and find something really good also another trick is my toner actually contains different essences and serums so that you can kind of combine multiple steps into one step so that's the great thing about um, this routine it doesn't have to be um, stressful or tedious you can make it as easy as you like and if you want to try this routine and you don't have any products made in Korea, go through your skincare products and see, okay, what do I have that can fit into these steps? What type of cleansers do I have? What type of exfoliators do I have? What type of serums or essences that I already have that I can line them up in this order and start using them in this way to see if you get some results from that you don't have to just go out and spend a ton of money to start with 
of course i'll link in the description box the things that i've been using so i'm just getting started i'm only on five steps and that's enough for me right now i'm seeing significant improvement in my skin overall i'm very satisfied with this routine i can't wait to see more results as i continue and always remember that consistency is key whenever you're starting something new you may not see results in week one it may be week two week three week four but if you stay consistent with the routine you should see some type of result so next let's get into the fun part let's talk about these new New Korean nail colors from Madam Glam New York so of course you know they sent me the packaging it's really cute it came well protected they let me pick out five colors they also um, have regular polishes if you're not wanting to um, do the the lamp the UV lamp they have just plain regular polishes and I'll include that link as well for you guys some of you may not be into um the whole gel or anything like that also they have different types of nail supplies like UV lamps um, art brushes all kinds of things so just go over and check them out and see how you like them but let's get into these colors the colors I chose came from the pastel haven collection these polishes are made in Korea and they feature bold and bright colors with a light syrupy formula it only took two coats to get a really flawless finish they are easy to remove and you can do that by soaking them in acetone or using a gel polish remover this light blue color is called the muse it's a really lovely blue shade and it's perfect for a fresh summertime look This next color is a really beautiful green called Enchanting and it kind of reminds me of what the leaves look like after a fresh spring shower and they're just beginning to bloom and everything is so vibrant and green. That's what this reminds me of. This next color is an orange. It's called Mama Shine. This color is a very vibrant orange and it's my absolute favorite color of the entire collection. It's a fun and great way to add some color to your summer. I can't wait to do a full set with this. I did not expect it to be my favorite color, but it is. The next color is a pink. It's called Mother's Wish, and it's so gorgeous. It looks like a classic Barbie pink. It's perfect for adding a sweet feminine touch to your nails, and it's my second favorite. So last but not least, we have this purple. It's called Gentle Touch and it's really stunning. And I remember last time that I did the nail polish review, a lot of you said you like purple. So I thought about you guys and I chose a purple color to show you. And I really do like it. I'm not big on purples, probably because I'm allergic to grapes and it, purple just reminds me of that. So I don't really wear a lot of purple but because of you guys i chose it and i really kind of like it these madame glam korean polishes from the pastel haven collection are not only beautiful but they add the perfect pop of color to your nails for the summertime if you're interested in trying any of these polishes be sure to click on the link below in the description box and use the code blackburns35 to get 35 percent off the link will take you directly to the site where the discount code will be applied at checkout and also remember if you don't want to become a vip member just click pay as you go when you get ready to check out all right so that's gonna do it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching and being here with me make sure you get in the comments below and let me know what your favorite nail color is don't forget to like comment subscribe and until next time be blessed